Hey guys, Clench Snail here, and in today's video, we're going over how to bunny hop in season 13 of Apex Legends. So, if you're a beginner, never done it before, hopefully, in, after you've seen this video, you will be able to bunny hop. Or if you already can bunny hop, maybe you have a better understanding on how to do just that. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's first go over, guys, why bunny hopping might be useful in our gameplay of Apex Legends uh, this season, or in any season. Um, and pretty much some advantages are, like you get to travel at the same momentum as running. Okay, and you you know how you get slowed, like if you were running and you got shot, you get slowed right down to kind of like this speed. Um, if you're bunny hopping, you get to keep that same speed and momentum as if you were like running, you wouldn't get slowed down so yeah pretty much like say say there's cover here and this guy was shooting at you and uh, you were running and then you were getting shot and then you slowed right down and you might get knocked just before you could we should go here. make it into the cover but I mean if you were bunny hopping you can make it around that cover while being shot at the same speed and then heal up and maybe your squad could get some fire on him while you heal up or you can just Come back around and <clears throat> beam him and it changes the whole game. So there you go. That can be like one little example. Uh, another one might be like you can get an assist with a kinetic feeder. So in season 13 we have the kinetic feeder on the peacekeeper. Um, and I'll go over that in just a little bit and how that might be able to help you out with the bunny hopping. And I also truly believe you're just going to get better movement <clears throat> and kind of control over your crouch your crouching your sliding your like evasive maneuvers um, in general uh, from it all so let's learn how to do it so pretty much the first thing that you need to do so this is just for a controller um, is go into your settings and here you'll see the crouch button. So you might come up and go into controller and then you see the crouch button here and you need to put that on hold instead of toggle. Okay, so put that on hold. You won't be able to do it if it's on toggle. It needs to be on hold. Uh, pretty much what that means is when I, when I press my crouch button, that's me pressing it once. Like it won't, yeah, I need to hold it to activate it for me to stay down. As soon as I let go of it, it brings me back up again. And I've got paddles on the back of my controller. I got one on the right, a side sign to jump. And I've got one paddle on the back of my controller on the left. That's assigned to crouch. Okay. So I've got one for crouch, one for jump. And pretty much what you want to do first up is just practice like you know get a, at least a good four steps in big run and then bunny hopping forward okay just directly forward background is the best for this you won't really be able to do it uphill you just run out of momentum um obviously going downhill is good too can help you with it okay but flat ground i reckon recommend is the best for learning like and just try and go straight as far as you can and how you're gonna do that okay so you're gonna run forward you're gonna slide and jump and then you're gonna begin your body hopping so you're pretty much you're gonna hear a, hear a sound every time you hit the ground like that sliding sound there All right, that's your audio cue as soon as you hear your character hit the ground press your jump button all right, and that's that's gonna allow you to bunny hop. Um, jump, jump. Every time you hear that sound. Okay, so practice that, and once you've got that down, um, we're gonna try something a little different. So, next thing to do, guys. Obviously, the bunny hopping's gonna be easier if you zigzag or if someone's shooting at you. We might wanna. You know, kind of do like a, a zigzag motion, so it's harder 
you to be hit. But yeah. There you go. Bit of a zigzag bunny hop. So pretty much what I'm doing there. Oh, let's let's just practice going one way for now to make it simple. Okay. So we sprint, we slide, jump, and then bunny hop. We're gonna practice going to the left. <clears throat> okay. So pretty much what I'm doing there is the left thumbstick, the one that you strafe with, left and right. Okay, if we go all the way to the right, it goes all the way to the right, all the way to the left. I'm doing this pretty much. I'm holding my thumbstick all the way to the left and just holding it on. Okay, that's what I'm doing there. As soon as, soon as I slide, all right, I'm starting to hold it on all the way to the left. As soon as I hit the ground, okay, or even in the air, if you will, all the way to the left. Okay, that's what I'm doing there and holding it on for the whole bunny hop that I'm doing in this video here. Or this little demo bit here. Okay, also at the same time as holding that to the left, I'm also moving my right thumbstick to the left slightly. Okay, so I'm controlling where I'm going with my aim, my camera. So slightly to the left as well, probably around that speed. Okay, so both thumbsticks at the same time. And that's pretty much what I'm doing with my thumbsticks. As soon as I hit the ground on a slide. And spam jumping. Well, not spam jumping, but when I hear that audio cue of hitting the ground, jumping, okay? So that looks like here. All right. Try that again. Okay, so we're going to sprint forward, jump, slide, all the way to the left. All right. Cool. There's a, th there's a little trick in here that I like to do. So if you want to practice it the other way, it's exactly the same thing, but you're just holding on right on your left thumbstick and slightly to the right on your right thumbstick as well. So I like to use this Keeping an eye on this spot. Or bunny hop around it. To practice for my rights and then obviously the other way for the lefts. Oh, I ran out of momentum there, I clipped the corner of <laughs> it. It gets you pretty accurate with your bunny hopping because you gotta try and come in here and get around. So you don't wanna go with your right thumbstick too far to the right, otherwise you'll just stop and lose momentum like that. So, if I go too far to the right, I can just stop. There's a fine angle that you'll find that you need to be going on. <clears throat> kind of like, yeah. See, if I went too far to the right, I'd just stop there. But, and then with a zigzag, all you're doing is just changing the directions. <clears throat> From right to left. And that's all there is to it with that, guys. So practice your straight ones first. And when you've got that down, um, yeah, see if you can practice to do a little bit of a zigzag. It can help you get into cover. Say there's cover there. I'm gonna defend this area. You can use it for heals as well. If you want to heal and bunny hop, except you're gonna run out of momentum with the hills. I'll show you what I mean. You only get a couple in and then you're fully out of momentum. But I mean, it can give you just a little bit more of a push forward when you're trying to heal, um, which could be a little bit more of a push forward it, that you need. <clears throat> All right, cool. How does the um, shotgun kinetic feeder come in handy with the bunny hop? All right, let's have a look. Um, so pretty much if you slide and aim, you can choke a shotgun up really fast. Super quick, right? Um, so pretty much if you're bunny hopping, it's the same thing. It'll choke up really fast. <clears throat> so say if there was like maybe a, a guy around here or you could hear someone there and you wanted to go in like ADSing with a full choke ready to go. Um, and a way to do that super quickly would kind of be the bunny hop around. 
And maybe you get a blast in. <clears throat> also with your reloading. So it reloads for you too when you're sliding. So if you're on flat ground, you can get two reloads in, but only just. I mean, you got to slide for a long time um, to be able to get the two reloads in. Uh, you might find it a bit easier with the bunny hopping, trying to reload, <clears throat> as opposed to trying to get those two in on one long slide. You kind of run out of momentum towards that to that end, so you get a little bit further with um, bunny hopping there. Other than that, guys, maybe something else to try could be like um, the ADS. Shooting while you're bunny hopping. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you out. Give it a like and uh, maybe consider subscribing if uh, it helped you. And thank you so much for all the love and support. And I'll see you in the next one. Clench now out. Peace.